kind of running down through this in my head. Yeah, man, go right through it. <laughs> so whenever I started and uh, started streaming in 2013, uh, streaming wasn't really, um, I don't know, people weren't really making a, a career out of streaming just yet. It was just something that people were doing for fun, basically, and that's what I did. I So uh, I, I did a, an interview recently uh, that I kind of talked about this. Basically, whenever I was playing a lot of games, I, I competitively started in Halo 2 or Halo 1. And then uh, con in the Halo series, I played com a lot competitively. And something that players were doing a lot then were creating montages, which I'm sure, you know, plenty of you guys and girls remember montages from that day and your favorite music set back to uh, some of these crazy plays. And seeing these professional players at the time do that, um that's something i wanted so much i wanted to start putting out montages uh but i didn't really have the funds at the time whenever i was younger to invest in uh a, a setup and i didn't have access to a computer until pretty late on like uh like high school ish uh, a little, little late in high school maybe so uh, that was something that I'd always wanted to do. And then once streaming started to become a thing and I had access to all my own equipment, uh, my, I had my own PC and everything, I was like, well, you know, I can do this. And it's kind of like having a montage going all the time, right? Like no editing, nothing like that. I've just got this montage just rolling, basically. Uh, so people can tune in. My friends can tune in and watch me play and see what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, and then I just kept playing and playing and playing and stream kept growing and growing. Eventually, uh, I was able to, you know, start paying all my bills and um, I had a crazy experience where my uh, actually, so I was, I was taking a business communication class, uh, which is basically like a speech class um, for those of you guys that know. And uh, I had, I had done speech classes previously that I pretty well bombed out of and failed because I was kind of nervous when it came to public speaking before. And then I'd started streaming and I hadn't realized, but that had all just kind of gone away because I'm just sitting in my room talking to my monitor all day. It's kind of weird and awkward, but once you get over that, then you kind of get over some other social issues as well, social speaking and stuff. Um, so I was taking this business communication class and the, uh, my professor at the time, well, <laughs> uh, it's kind of a funny story. So she would always ask me why it was that I was, uh, speaking so clearly and concise, um, and, and all these things. And I would kind of brush it off and I didn't want people to know what a nerd I was and that I was, uh, <laughs> streaming video games. You know, it's just some, a, a topic I wanted to avoid basically. Um, so I would never tell her. And then eventually one day she bugged me enough and I told her and, uh, kind of like our final for the class, there was, uh, professor, uh, uh, someone high up at IBM that she was friends with that she had, she had every semester come in and sit with her and judge these speeches that people were doing. Um, and after I had done mine, uh, she had everybody leave the class and, and uh, asked me to stay. And she said that she'd spoken with this guy from IBM and that uh, they were looking into Twitch and what they thought it would become. And that they suggested that I quit college immediately and go as hard into streaming as I possibly could. Which to me was like, you know, I don't think that you're supposed to tell me that, right? You're not... <laughs> So uh, it was definitely a shock to me, but uh, I did. And, you know, they were right. And I had known that there was something there anyway, right? So uh, it definitely worked out for me. Um, but then I continued to stream for quite some time. I got into Rainbow Six Siege and was playing that game. A friend of mine that I was playing with at the time suggested we start a uh, small org because nobody was paying players in, in uh, Rainbow Six Siege at the time. So we, and maybe this kind of goes back to a, the other question about um, why maybe I was looked at for player manager because I had some experience here somewhat already. So I guess that's uh, 
something I didn't think about previously. So we started this small org. We, it's not like we had any money, really. We had just a very little bit that we, we were streaming, and that's how we were paying our bills, he and I. Uh, exec, for those of you guys and girls that know um, Exec, he's a really good guy, and we worked together to start a small org called Continuum, and we picked up a lineup in Rainbow Six Siege and got lucky, and they went on to win the world championship and were crazy, crazy huge, gr crazy great players. Uh, we ended up um, selling the roster off to Evil Geniuses, and I joined TSM. Um, but there was some experience there that I had learned, you know, to deal with the players and keeping them happy the best we could and, you know, speaking with them. There obviously weren't a ton of obligations because we didn't have any sponsors or anything. It was just kind of something for fun that actually we just got lucky with. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good time. But anyway, uh, that's the time around the time that I was switching into PUBG. Uh, stream blew up. TSM reached out, said, you know, I got a, a follow from TSM one day. Actually, I had some other orgs or a couple other orgs message me about uh, joining and I basically told them no. I I was streaming because specifically because I didn't want somebody's thumb over me. I didn't want to be told what to do. I didn't want to feel like I was obligated to do this or this. Um, so no, I'm not gonna join an org. I don't care. And then I got followed by TSM on Twitter, and I was like, okay, never mind. <clears throat> Where do I sign? <laughs> A story as old as time. Getting the follow on Twitter to some yeah. moves in an org. A story as old as time, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So then just went from there. You kind of know the rest of it. 